pinchers um welcome back to my channel in this channel we love to pinch our pennies and save our dollars using fun challenges um in today's video i'm just going to stuff a few challenges i don't have a lot of time and so um i thought i'd just do a quick little one to get a few things caught up um before we get started i'm going to go ahead and give this week's fab five their last call for the week um so i have the busy mom budget Mandy's Budgeting Journey, Living on a Tiny Budget, Ordinary Every Days, and Mari Budgets and Saves. And she's a newer budgeter. If you get a chance, go ahead and go down to the description at the bottom. You're going to see um, their links and click on and go give them some YouTube love. And hopefully they do the same for you. So there's that. And then on the fat, on the, what is it? The BCL, I'm sorry. Um, we have a new BCL girl. And um, her name is Brown Skin Girl 20202. I will link that below along with Budgeting April. If you are new here, Budgeting April has something she started called the BCL, which stands for Budgeting Community Link. And it's to connect YouTubers that are in the budgeting community to help support each other. So I like to be part of that. And um, I will put the link below also. Okay. Debbie has a budget and myself are doing the chubby unicorns together. And we're kind of a little friendly competition going on here. So what we're doing is we're rolling one dice and, um, and it's from one to six and whatever we roll that unicorn will be that amount. So each unicorn is worth one to six. And at the end, there's no time frame. We're just doing it as our leisure. We're kind of in the same time period, but we're doing it as our own, our own time, as many as we want to do. And when we're done, we are going to add up and see who saved the most money and they are the winners. Now, that means that means nothing except for they're the winners. <laughs> they save the most, so they're the chubbiest unicorn. Alrighty, let's do this one first. I have $100 today I'm going to stuff and I have prop money and I'm gonna start using prop money. So I transferred $100 from checking into savings and I'm not going to sit and count it all because I'm sure I'm not going to cheat myself to, for any reason. I can't even think of a reason. So I have $100 here to go in a few savings challenges. And then when it's done, it's done. And if I overspend, then I have to go transfer some more. If I underspend, well, then I'm just going to leave that in the savings. Alrighty. Let's get started. Let me get my dice here. First unicorn. Four. Not too bad, not too bad. Debbie just did this row. She just put out a video yesterday and she's finished up a row. And so I think she has a total of, I think around 35, I'm not sure. I shouldn't even say, I should just wait. Okay, first one's four. Second one is six. Ooh, Debbie, I might win you on this row. Okay, six again. Ooh, lucky, lucky today. Thank you, Ella, I have Ella with me. I have Ella, this is her favorite. Can you see the resemblance? Um, yeah, she's giving me some luck, so. Okay, that one's a three, I spoke too soon. And I'm gonna do the whole row today. I don't know if you saw that, but it's a six. Yeah, I think I, I, I won this row. Deb, poor Debbie couldn't get a high number to save her. And a five. All righty. So that gives me 10, um, 15, 21, 24, and 30. So I got 30 on that row. Okay. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. That is going to go in with the rest of them. I already, I already transferred everything out and got a in there so that's $55 I have saved right now that was pretty lucky all right Debbie yeah I gotta bump it up a little bit girl a little just a little bit talking about Debbie let me color these while we talk about Debbie let's talk about Debbie let's talk about someone in a good way only in a good way let me get my okay I don't want that one where's the pink one here we go okay so yeah, a while back, she's so fun. A while back, um, I gave an embarrassing story. 
And um, about the, some of you might remember that. It was about me being on an airplane. I was about 19 and slobbering over, all over the guy next to me. And he let me. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, I challenged everyone to do an embarrassing story. And there's been a couple. But it looks like she's doing it every video now. Or almost every video. So if you go to her video from yesterday, the 16th. And you click on, I think it says... Um, challenges and funny stories or something or happy meal and funny stories go to her video she talks about a woman who she used to see it every day or every oft quite often and she thought her name was I think Margaret and she called her Margaret and come to find out her name was not Margaret and that went on for months I guess so anyway go listen to her story it's just fun to hear people's funny stories again if you have a funny story I want you to tell your funny story and I want you to tag me so I can listen to your funny story. And then hopefully remember, so I don't ask you why you're not telling funny stories. So, um, I don't know why I get silent once I start coloring, but I do. So I thought, because she's been telling funny stories, I was trying to think of one I could tell today. And the only one that comes up, comes to mind was a high school one. My, I was 14, so it was my first year in high school. And, um, I didn't know anyone, and there was this boy um, who, oh, I just had the biggest crush on him forever and ever and ever. Had the biggest crush on him, and um, and he, you know, we became friends, friendly. You know, nothing outside of school, just friends, and kind of hooked me up with some of his friends, and so we used to have lunch together all the time, and of course, it was my favorite part of the day, and um, yeah, he just. You know, he was just so gorgeous. I have to tell you, he um, he had, he was just beautiful face. He had a beautiful face. This little darker skin, the kind of a Latino, he was Latino, so he had Latino skin, which was just gorgeous. Then he had a little bit fuller lips, and I mean, let's just say perfection. In my world, it was perfection. He couldn't have been any cuter. And he was, he was good looking, whether or not. So I had this big crush on him, and I was in the friend zone. So, you know, that's really all I could handle back then anyway. I wasn't, I was pretty young. But um, if he's watching, which I know he's not, he has no idea, probably remember my name. Um, yeah, I wanted, I dreamt about you every night if you're watching. <laughs> and this is the thing, I'm not even sure I remember his name either. So, you know, true love, right? Okay, so anyway, um, I used to, do, you know, I didn't know if I did this on purpose, but I was wearing these really tight pants and they were red that my mom had, they used to be hers. And, um, you know, those saddleback pants, gosh, I'm dating myself for sure now. And they, but they were red. So anyway, I was wearing those to school one day, but they were super, super tight, super tight. You know, and I think everyone wore tight pants back then, especially jeans. You have to lay down to zip them up. This is the problem. Jeans can handle that kind of um, resistance. Um, regular pants cannot, not cheap quality pants that I, we had. So he was walking ahead of me where we're in the, walking into the library and I dropped my comb. Remember the big combs that we used to always have? Well, I had one of those in my hand and I dropped it. So I bent over to pick it up and then I heard rip, like really loud rip. And I stood up and I reached back and my pants, I didn't realize how bad it was until I got home, but from the saddle part in the, the butt area, can you say butt? I don't know if you can say that word. In the behind area, ripped it all the way down, all the way down under. So um, I didn't, I just didn't know what to do. I was just embarrassed, didn't know what to do. Luckily no one was right behind me. So I had to call his name because I had no one else to even, you know, help me. And I remembered I had a, I couldn't go home that day. I remember, I can't remember if it was a, final or some kind of test. There was something I couldn't go home that I had to finish out the day. But I remember I had a sweater in my locker. I'm like, so I had to call him over. I go, just follow me to my locker. He goes, well, I go, just follow me to my locker. Just, just follow me and don't get any attention. I don't want anyone to see me, you know? So whatever I said, he followed me to my locker. I opened it up and I got the sweater and he was so good not to laugh at me until I just started. I just went, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so humiliated. And when he realized, you know, I was actually saying something and, you know, <laughs> he just started laughing. Um, 
You know, it's not that dramatic, but it was super, super, super humiliating. Of all the people, Rob, all the people, could there have been any one of my other friends, girlfriend, guy, friend, I don't care, just anyone but the one that I was crushing on. It would have been a lot easier to take. So, yeah, I was humiliated. Um, I don't I don't remember ever him ever mentioning it again. I mean, he had a good little laugh then, and he, you know, asked, you wonder if I was going to be okay, and I'm like, yes. And So, hold on, I'm looking for my little gold pen. And, um... So yeah, that's my funny story. I just feel like I need to tell a second one because she's, I guess she's telling funny stories a lot. And I just did it once, so I thought I'd share another one. I know I've got a whole bunch of them. Who doesn't have embarrassing stories? Problem is that we have them, but I don't know if I can always remember them. So, okay. I will finish out their little horns and their feet. And I don't know if you can tell, but I've been putting silver nail polish on her feet because She's fancy. Here we go. They're fancy, fancy chubby unicorns or chubby rhinoceroses. All right, and this is from Managing Marcy. She has it on her, um, she can, you get this in the envelope on her Etsy shop, which is Managing Marcy, if you're interested. I'll link that below. Okay, and then next I have Maybe or maybe not from Liz and Les. And this is a freebie. You can go to her um, YouTube channel, Liz and Les, and this is a freebie for this month. It's not too late to join. So we are on this week, a yellow. So what we do is you ask a, answer, there's a question, there's something here, and if maybe or maybe not. And mine are a dollar for the maybes and two dollars for the maybe nots. All right, been on TV. I'm going to say maybe not unless you, well, is YouTube considered TV? Because that's where I watch my YouTube. I'm going to say maybe not because I don't really consider it being on TV. Flown on a helicopter, yes, maybe. Um, when we were in, on a vacation in Hawaii, um, a boyfriend and I, myself, where we took a helicopter and went and saw some falls and some you know beautiful sights. So, um, taking outside food to a movie theater. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, hated a family love dinner. Yes, I hated my mom's. I know, it's not nice to say. I hated my mom. She used to make this lima beans and ham. I I don't like ham. I don't eat ham. It makes me not it makes me sick to my stomach. I think it's probably why I didn't like it as a child. And um yeah. That that we had we had problems with that food that meal, <laughs> but it was a super cheap meal. And we were very poor, and sometimes I just had to eat it because that's was all there was, and sometimes I just didn't want to eat it, and I got a little sassy and got in trouble for it. So um, the next one is do we miss one? Been on TV two three. Um, okay, been on TV no outside food yes. I'm taking food to a movie theater, yes, and I didn't do my mom's. Maybe. Okay. Ignore the five-second rule. You know, I probably have, but I will have to tell you, I have always been a germaphobe before it was even, you know, fancy and there was a name for it. Um, my mom has stories as a toddler. If I got anything on me, I had to have a whole bath. I was very aware. I did not like people touching my food. That was my biggest, it's still my biggest thing. Now I've worked with that and you know, I've worked on it for years and I'm still probably more than most people I know. But yeah, if something fell on the floor, I just, I wouldn't eat it. I just wouldn't eat it. So I'm gonna say maybe not on that one. Okay, what do I have? Two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. You know what? I don't like to tell my stories online. I all of a sudden I've become like just sharing all these little stories. <laughs> okay, two, four, six, and seven. And we'll put this in here with this. With my other. I have to remind myself, I like playing with real money. I do. I know it's dirty, but I don't put my hands in my mouth. Um so I'm going to try it with prop money because I'm going to be moving and I just don't want a lot of money in the house at this point. So I've talked about it before. 
So we're trying prop. I'm hoping it's not the same to me, but hopefully as some time goes on, I know it represents what I have in there. And I'll be really conscientious and make sure that that money is always accounted for and budgeted out right. But I don't know if I'm going to get used to prop money being like real money. That's my hope. So that's what I'm hoping for. Let's just see. All right. Um, my next one is from Life with Bobby. I bought this. I showed it on my last video, I think. Or Anyway, um, she has these scratchers. They're just too cute. I had to get them. So I'm going to scratch them. These are two extras that came with it. So I'm going to scratch those first. And let's just see. So I'll link her down below. She has an Etsy shop with the same name, Life with Bobby. All righty. Oh, there's a number on here. Okay, I thought it, it was small. Okay, we'll take it. Let me get somewhere to dump this. Alrighty. Okay. That didn't work. All right, I have a quarter here that was a 2022 because that's when my little granddaughter, and if you watched my last video all the way to the end, you'd know her name. Um, so, I use that as my scratcher, but I don't know that it does great, but it's it's working. Five dollars. Okay, there's five dollars. That is so cute. All right, let's try this one now. Fifteen dollars. Five, ten, and fifteen. That's the last of my big ones. Alrighty, so should we have a taco first or a margarita first? Let's have a margarita first. Alrighty, um, I am feeling, I think I'm gonna lick the, lick the lime. Looks like this one's $10. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the table. Okay, ooh. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm gonna have to exchange that. Now let's have a drink. Let me have a taco first. And we always eat at the start of the end, don't we? Okay. Okay, another 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, okay, there's that, alrighty, so what do I have left, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 21, 23, okay, I think I'm going to do another I'll do another margarita, and then we'll call it quits, I think. Okay. Um, let's get... Okay, five more. Two, four, and five. Well, let's just keep going. Two, four, and five. I'm gonna go one more. Mm. Uh. Okay, that's ten. Let's see if I got that. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I've got two dollars left. I've got three dollars left. So I will just um 
got three dollars left. I'm just, I'll just find a place to put that. I'll save it for next time. Okay, let's do this. And alrighty. Wow. Thank you, Life with Bobby. I love this. It's so nice. Kind of a nice little gift pack too, wouldn't it be? So, all right. Get all this. All right. Um, I think that is it, isn't it? Let's see, huh? Yeah, that's it for this video. So thank you. Thank you for spending time with me. I know you have options. I'm so appreciative you chose to watch this channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Um, I would love for you to join us and be pin pinches together. So until next time, bye-bye.